Right, so here we are, back home, admiring our prize. Uh, what are you planning to do with that, Lara? Oh, no, it's bad guys. Oh, and it's the Italian variety, because they've got the masks on. This always kind of creeped me out, actually, because you know you're on kind of a countdown to... Uh, between getting your getting your weapons and then these bad guys actually showing up, and you can hear some footsteps. Oh, there they are, dude! I took down a dragon. You think you're gonna bother me? That is a lot of shotgun shells she keeps in her, in her, what is essentially her bedside closet or her yeah. cupboard or something. Right, is there any more there? Oh, hi! Seriously, I took down a dragon and this guy's coming at me with a club. Bell is really annoying. <laughs> he just fell right through the banister. How many of these have I got? Now, apparently there's some guy you fight right at the end of this, or he's like one of the major bad guys in this. Uh, who is apparently the guy you fight at the end of the, uh... I can't remember if there's any guys up this way. Uh, who, who is apparently the guy you fight at the end of, uh, the, the Venice levels? You know, that creepy guy that was doing the creepy laughter? Um... Oh, there isn't. Oh, god damn it, Lara. Uh, I, honestly, I've never made the connection before. I just read that a couple of weeks ago on a website somewhere. I've never made the connection. Great, so where is he? Oh, hi. <laughs> Bugger me. Oh, man, I'm really fucking this up, aren't I? Where is this dude? It is, you have to admit, though, a really clever thing to do, though. Set up the... 
set up the mansion as a safe place to train at the beginning of the game and then have it be invaded by bad guys at the end. It is quite a clever little twist. You know, the place you think you're safe, you're actually not. Where is this son of a bitch? Oh. I'm so delighted by the sight of that. I'm sure I'll always fight them outside somewhere. Unless there's still guys up this way. Seriously, Lara, you've got coal fires going in every room in the house, even though it's night time. Ah, okay. And Lara apparently plays the harp. Oh, look, there's a dog. Bam. Oh, I didn't check the kitchen. Uh, I think I did put Winston in there at some point, so he's probably quite safe in there. Oh, hi! Oh, he's all bandaged up, so is that like... Yeah, did I deal with her? Right, okay, lad, I need to uh, I need to wash all that blood off your hands now, don't you? Yeah. Don't you think you've seen enough? She's uh she's a woman of extremes, it has to be said, Lara. Yeah, so there we go, Tomb Raider 2. Can you believe I actually started something on YouTube and actually <laughs> finished it in a reasonable amount of time? Um So, you know, that that was kind of an interesting uh, first attempt at doing an actual proper Let's Play and I know there's been technical fuck-ups and I know some, some levels have been better than others but in fact, some, some of the levels I think were absolutely terrible when I was putting them up on YouTube. Um, but it was kind of a... a an, an interesting first attempt at doing that because I am putting together two other Let's Plays and I've got about four or five videos of, of each of them done at this point. Uh, they, they are a lot better quality both in terms of the recording process and also in terms of uh, me, I think. Um, and, and just what I do to them. So uh, they're going to start going up pretty soon. Um, and I've also, um, <gasps> you son of a bitch, 47 out of 48 secrets, seriously? Uh, kills, 441, that's what the shower was for. Time taken, 1126, oh, that's not too bad. <sighs> well, um, what was I saying there? Oh yes, uh, um, the, the, so I've got two other uh, Let's Plays that I've been putting together. The other thing is, this is the, the GOG or Good Old Games or GOG or whatever the, the, the current trendy cool way of uh, um, calling the website is. Uh, this is that version of the game and I know there's a way of getting the Tomb Raider 2 Gold running with it. So at some point in the, the near future I'm going to do that and I'm going to do a blind Let's Play of that. Uh, 
plus there's two other stuff. I've started doing a, a Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII. I started recording that a couple of weeks before the remake was announced and then I thought, fuck, every person and their dog is going to be doing a Let's Play of that, but whatever. Um, and there's another game, uh, I was kind of hesitant to uh, uh, mention it, but I guess I just will. There's another game I was introduced to called Pandemonium, which is nipple-twistingly frustrating, but I'm actually having fun playing it. Um, so th so those videos will be uh, going up soon as well. Uh, there'll be the Tomb Raider Gold, and the other thing is, I've spent uh, the last uh, uh, while replaying Tomb Raider 4, um, uh, the last revelation, and I'm actually amazed, like I haven't played it in maybe a decade, I am amazed by how much I'm enjoying it, and how much cleverness and innovation is in that game that I hadn't uh, previously realised. So I think I'm going to make something for YouTube about that. I haven't decided whether it will be a let's play at some future point or uh, um, maybe just a video talking about it. I haven't decided. Um, and I think I'm going to do one final Tomb Raider 2 video as well. Uh, like a sort of overview kind of thing. So um, thank you for anybody who's watched this. Uh, th there's, I, I get the impression there's at least two people who, who seem to enjoy this on a regular basis. So thank you. It's been fun uh, hearing back from people about it, even though it's been fraught with difficulties and technical problems. Um, it's been a, a, a fun first attempt at a Let's Play, and uh, I, I very much want to do more in future. So thank you very much for watching.